In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly add your email account to Gmail, your personal account, such as a POP email account. In this example, I'm going to use support at spinningplanet.co.nz. First thing you need to do is log into Gmail, click on settings, go see all settings, and then go to accounts and imports, and down here, go check uh, from other accounts. So we go add mail accounts, put your email in there. And go next. And it'll just default to import emails from my accounts, pop three, go next, put in your username and password. Um, and you can just do it like this. Oh, you need to change that name to secure.spinningplanet.co.nz if you're on our service. And we'll leave it on port 1110, uh, sorry, 110. Um, you can leave a copy of your messages on our server. Now, you'd do that if you had another device such as let's say a laptop or a phone that was accessing this mail account directly. But if you plan to access it all the time through Gmail, you don't need to leave a copy on the server. But I will, just in case it tries to start taking all my email off the server. Um, you don't have to use SSL, but if you do want to use it, uh, you just tick that and you change the port to 995. And we do want to label the incoming messages so we know where they're coming into. And I'm not going to do any archiving. So we go add accounts. And it goes off and checks it. And blah, blah, blah. And we go save. And then we also want to be able to send as support at Spinning Planet. So we go, yes, I want to be able to send. And I'm going to change that name from Bryn Nielsen to Spinning Planet Support. And then go next step. Now, the SMTP server, if you're sending out through our server, will be secure.spinning planet.co.nz and the username well my username is just support and then I put in my password um, now the outgoing port because we're going to be using SSL is 465 and you tick oh there um, yeah secure connection using SSL and then go add accounts And uh, it's just sent me a verification to finish the whole process, and, and I'll do that later. But that's how you create, um, oh, sorry, that's how you add your POP email address into Gmail.